What's up guys, this is Alexis with the Rhinestone World and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a cute makeup bag using one of our designs on our website. If you like any of the materials used in this video you will find that linked in the description below and we're just going to go ahead and show you how to make this. Let's go! All right guys, so I have my design pulled up here in Corel Draw, and the link to this design will be linked into the description below. So all I'm gonna do is highlight, and then I'm gonna go over here to our wizard and use our magic separator to create templates for this so that we can send it over easily. So I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on TRW Magic Separator, and by right clicking, that mirrored all of our design because it is heat transfer vinyl. And then from here, all we need to do is basically send over each cut to the cutter and make sure that our cut settings are correct. So for the glitter vinyl, which is going to be for this part here, the blue part, and then the gray part here, we're going to use a 60 degree blade on a double cut of 12 to 14 and a speed of 50 to 60. And then for the black part here, which is going to be easy weed, we're going to use a 45 degree blade, a 9 to 11 single cut, and 50 to 60 speed. Now for these parts here, if you happen to see that it's picking at your vinyl a little bit, you might drop down your speed to about 30 and then do test cuts. And if you still kind of get it picking at your vinyl like that, then you might turn it down even more. So I'm just going to go ahead and send over my first cut to Cutting Master. And then from there, we'll be ready to load it into the cutter and get going. All right, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and load in my material. So I'm just unlocking my pinch roller and then I'm going to feed this through and we're going to make sure that our pinch rollers are lined up with these little blue tick marks here. So if you move that over, we see that this one is under this one and this one is over there. So I'm just going to line it up under there, make sure my material is straight by lining it up with these lines down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock it down. I'm going to use the roll one front edge position so that it goes to the front edge of my material. So I'm going to press one and it's going to adjust it. And then I did already test cut this and I have a, a couple of small test cuts right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move over my position a little bit so that it isn't going to cut where I've already cut the material. So right here is good. I'll go ahead and set my origin, so I'm just going to hold down the origin button. And it says new origin point is set. And then I'm going to go ahead and send over my first cut, which is for the easy weed. Okay, so now that this is done cutting, we're going to go ahead and weed it. So I'm going to go ahead and weed off this excess first. So I'm just going to peel around the corner. And then I'm going to do that with all three of these. Use my pick tool. This pick tool can be found on our website. We'll link that in the description below. And then you just kind of want to pull this up from the corner. And then with the easy lead, if you have good cut settings, which you want to test your, your cuts first, you should have this peel right away not have any issues with it. So we're doing pretty good. And then I'm going to go to the last one here, this glitter. So I'm going to peel up the corner and weed the excess. And again, with the glitter, as long as you have good cut settings, it should weed away with no issues, which it did. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and move those out of the way. And the first thing I'm going to weed is our black easy weed. So I'm just going to grab a corner and then weed it up. And then for these little parts over here, I just need to weed out the insides of them. So I'm going to grab it. And weed those out. And 
These are really small pieces, so you just have to be kind of careful with it. Okay, awesome. So this one's done, and then we're just going to go ahead and weed the rest. So we have our jade glitter, our silver glitter, and then our black easy weed that's ready to go over and press to our bag. So let's go over there and get that started. All right, so we're here at our heat press. This is our Hotronic 16 by 20 auto clam, and this will be linked in the description below as well. We have our press set at 310 degrees, and I have my little bag right here. So what I'm gonna do is I just took one of our pressing pillows, and I'm folding it in half, and I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it in here so that we get some even pressure on here, since there are some seams on this. And then there is a zipper as well, so I'm gonna try to press that without the zipper in there. So we're going to go like right here. I'm going to go ahead and get my transfers and line them up. So the first one I'm going to grab is going to be our silver transfer. That's the one that's the biggest and makes up the most of the design. So I'm going to do that one first. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up. So we'll go like this. Arrange our pillow a little bit. I'm just going to turn that around to make sure that looks okay. And that looks pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and press this one first. And we're just going to do a quick pre-press, just to get it to tack on. Oop, move this out a little bit. Let's see. Get it to tack on, so we're going to press for two to three seconds. So we'll go down. And then pop it back up. And then we're just going to make sure that this stuck on there, so I'm going to go ahead and peel it up. It looks like everything's stuck well. So we're going to go to our next one, which is going to be our jade transfer. I'm going to line this up real quick. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and press this one now. Again, just for two to three seconds to get it to tack on. It's good. And pop it up. Go ahead and peel that portion up. So that's good. This part is not staying down too well yet, but when we do the final press, it'll go down. And then we're going to press our last piece, which is our black easy weed. So again, I'm just going to line it up real quick. I'm going to move this over a little bit just so that it's right underneath where my transfer is going so it can get some pressure. Okay, that's good. We'll bring it over here. And then since there's a little bit of glitter right here at the top exposed, I am going to go ahead and use a cover sheet. So I'm just gonna use a piece of parchment that I have here. I'm actually going to spin this around to the left side, like that, there we go. And make sure this didn't move at all. Which it did a tad, so we'll just fix that up. Good. We'll cover it. And then we'll press for two to three seconds. Good. And I'm going to go ahead and peel this up. And that stuck on pretty well. And then I'm going to go ahead and do our full press. So I just want to make sure that all areas of this get good pressure. Cover it with our cover sheet. Move this out a little bit. And then going to press it down for the full 10 to 15. And that's done. Just going to make sure that doesn't fall off there. Get our cover sheet out of here. Take this out. 
And then we have a cute little makeup bag. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. If you want to see more videos like this, check out our production tutorial playlist here. And as always, like this video and comment below with any questions you might have. Have a good one.